macOS Mojave is Apple's first software platform to get an actual dark mode. Hi everyone, this is Andrew from Apple Insider and we've got a fresh install of macOS Mojave here. In the past, Apple had a dark and light menu bar option that came with Sierra, but here in 10.14 or macOS Mojave, we have an actual system-wide dark mode that works just across everything, including the dock, menu bar, and even within apps. Obviously, the menu bar is pretty familiar if you've used the dark menu bar in the past, but the dock is now all dark. We obviously have a dark trash can, dark background, and unrelated, that recent section ported over from iOS. So how do you enable this fancy new feature? Just by jumping into system preferences and going to general. Same place that it always was in the past. But now instead of just the menu bar, it is the whole UI. You can see we also have that dynamic background, those sand dunes out of Mojave. As we switch, it'll automatically adjust between light and dark or the just the interface of your computer. It is really, really cool. So over the next minute or two, we're just going to jump through a whole bunch of system applications and third-party applications here in macOS Mojave and just see how they look and some of the pros and cons of what we got so far. So system applications starting off with things like messages look pretty good as well as do notes. Everything here pretty much looks as it should. Everything's pretty toned down and just matches the overall dark UI that we're seeing. Finder looks especially nice, especially when you're using the new gallery mode to view all of your files. So if I'm looking through a bunch of images here, we have a carousel along the bottom, a bigger image, and then some metadata there on the right hand side. It is pretty cool. I really, really like the new Finder. We also have a bunch of new apps in macOS Mojave, for to be particular, starting off with news. News and the others were ported over from iOS using a new development framework that will be available for other developers starting next year. And it seems pretty slick. I don't notice any hiccups or weirdness with the app at all. And it seemed to take Apple very little work to actually port these apps over. After news, we also have the Home app, which is going to be super nice to control your smart home. Looks really nice, works really well, and feels very, very similar to the iPad application, especially with the larger design. Though we're still not seeing AirPlay 2, either way, it looks great with the dark UI. Here we have the new Voice Memos app. It works and looks as you'd expect. It's a bit darker while you're actually recording, though once you're finished, it gets to a bit of a brighter UI. does seem a little bit jarring at how white that is compared to everything else, but pretty minor thing overall. And then after voice memos, we have the new Stocks app, another first for the actual Mac. It actually builds in Apple News at the same time, so I can view the actual companies and stock listings there on the left, see how they're trending, adjust the graph here on top, and then see a bunch of news headlines right below that. It's kind of cool seeing Apple build these two applications into one another. They already have the news. Why not build that news information into their stocks where it's relevant? Going into some older applications that have been around quite a while, we have iTunes, which honestly looks really, really nice. Still not a full redesign of iTunes like many have been asking for, but it definitely looks pretty solid. We have reminders, very minimalistic here, not a lot to see. Photos app, Photos app has always looked pretty solid in dark mode, especially when you're actually editing a photo. Now the whole thing has that darker UI and it definitely looks pretty classy. The new Apple Books application, a little bit of a revamp here along with that darker UI, and it got a big revamp and a whole new store over on iOS. So definitely a lot going on here with the Books application, makes for reading across all your platforms pretty darn simple. The whole new Mac App Store, this has been a long time coming, and it looks so much better. Lots of curated stories and apps and written articles it's was really really cool to explore and hopefully find some great new apps for the mac hopefully this will help increase the revenues here as much as it did on ios lastly we have safari here which looks pretty good but just depends on the site that you're on obviously things like apple insider be a little bit more white so even though you have that darker ui you just may not notice it as much some apps have yet to be updated at all for the new UI, including iWork Suite. So Keynote, Pages, Numbers, they all look very, very bright. And third-party apps are still lacking, obviously, because they have not had a chance to update it yet because this is still in beta. But things like Slack, when you go to highlight, it still uses the darker highlight and it makes the text a bit hard to read. Other apps like Final Cut Pro 10, they have not been updated, but they look pretty darn good. They already had that darker UI that looks right at home in the new dark mode in macOS Mojave. So what do you guys think of macOS Mojave's new dark mode? Do you guys like it? Do you want to see more? Does it not go far enough? Let us know down below in the comments.
If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.